Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're finishing our ACC football predictions today with our last team, the Virginia Cavaliers. As I've said before in previous videos, I love the Cavaliers head coach in Bronco Mendenhall. He did great things at BYU before moving to the Power 5 Conference and taking the head coaching job here at Virginia. But last season, he had a disastrous start, losing by 17 points to an FCS school in Richmond, and he ended up finishing just 2-10 and on the season with only one conference win uh, against Duke. Uh, but this year, they returned 13 returning starters, hoping to you know grow on that a little bit. Last year was more of a rebuilding year, hopefully, for Cavalier fans. I don't know if they are expecting a bowl game this season, but I'm sure, I know for sure they are hoping to uh, advance more on that two-win season. Uh, this uh, this year, I'm really impressed with their quarterback and Kurt Benkert, much like I am with uh, Duke's quarterback and Daniel Jones. Uh, I like both of them. I think uh, Benkert will uh, gain more confidence as the season goes on, and hopefully get the Cavaliers uh, to around four or five wins. Uh, and then hopefully next year they'll be able to crack into a bowl game, much like I expect for Duke. Uh, coaches usually hit their stride in year three or four, and I think that's exactly what will happen for Bronco Mendenhall this season. Even though they do have 13 returning starters, that's not bad. That's also including eight returning starters on defense. I do think next year will be the year that they can maybe get to their bowl game for the first time since 2011. But let's see how, we're gonna, how they're going to do this season. They open up the season against William & Mary, an FCS school. Obviously, don't need to overlook them, much like they did Richmond last year, uh, losing by 17 points. That was unbelievable. Um... But William and Mary, easy win, I think, for Virginia. Uh, don't need to overlook them, but I think they will get the win there and start off the season 1-0 and, and on a much better foot than they did last season. Uh, then Indiana, a tough Big Ten opponent there. Uh, I love Indiana's quarterback and Richard Legault. He is a great quarterback. Um, and Not maybe one of the best in the Big Ten. I mean, he's competing against some tough guys in the Big Ten, but I think he's the guy Indiana needs, um, much like Nate Sudfield that was there uh, last year or two years ago. So Indiana, I think, could potentially be middle of the pack Big Ten team. Uh, they're looking to get to their third straight bowl, and I think that's just going to be too much for this young Virginia team. Um, you know, it's only the second game of the season, so it's going to be really interesting to see. It is a home game for the Cavaliers, which could end up playing a factor, but I don't think they're going to be able to get the job done against Indiana. I think they're going to be too tough of a challenge for them. That's going to be a loss there. And then UConn, uh, a team that Virginia played last year on the road, they lost that game 13 to 10. So it was a very uh, good defensive game, uh, very exciting if you're into that. Um, but this season, Virginia gets UConn at home, and I think they're going to defeat UConn. Uh, Connecticut does return 14 starters, uh, gets their head coach back. You know, he left for a little while, came back now, uh, hopefully trying to write and uh, straighten the ship out uh, up there at Connecticut. Uh, but I think Virginia will get the win there at home. They start off the season 2-0, and which is not bad at all uh, for the Cavaliers, considering what happened to them last year, not winning their two games until the middle of the season last year. And then at Boise State, a team that Bronco Mendenhall does have some experience with playing uh, Boise State a couple times while he was at BYU. Uh, Boise State, though, just a super tough team to play. I mean, ever since they kind of got their star under Chris Peterson, they have really become the the powerhouse in the Mountain West. Not winning it every year, of course, um, but they really are the powerhouse. And much like uh, Duke or Indiana, they have a great quarterback in uh, Brett Ripien. So he Boise State's going to be a tough task. And having to go on the road to Boise State, uh, I really don't see them winning that game either. Uh, remember last year, Virginia had to go on the road and play Oregon. So kind of the same area geographically. It did not work out well for Virginia. Not saying that's gonna, the area is going to contribute to Virginia's loss. I just don't think they're going to be good enough to go on the road and defeat Boise State uh, because I do feel that they're going to be a very good team this year also. So 2-2 two and two going into their bye week. Uh, they're going to play Duke at home. Uh, as I said earlier in my Duke video, this is going to be a game probably from two teams that are in the cellar or are expected to be in the cellar of this ACC Coastal Division. So it's going to be very interesting to watch. I know a lot of teams or a lot of people would just kind of blow that off thinking, well, this game doesn't matter much uh, for either team. It's not going to contribute to the final ACC Coastal standings that much. Um, and they would probably just give the win to Virginia because it's a home game. And I'm not going to do that. Uh, I feel like Duke is the better team this season. They do return less starters, but they have a more experienced head coach in that system. Uh, David Cutcliffe has been there for a long time. And I feel that Duke is just the better team overall. And I think Virginia is going to get a loss here. But it's going to be a very close game, I feel. It's going to be a very hard-fought battle. And in the end, it could contribute to either team getting to a bowl game uh, or getting them close to a bowl game. In Duke's case, it would get them 
that fifth win in the end, it would be a, uh, contributing to that five wins. So then Virginia has to travel to North Carolina. Their ATC schedule is very tough. I mean, these first four non-conference games, not the hardest non-conference schedule in the world, but Indiana's not going to be a, a cakewalk, and neither is Boise State. And in their ACC schedule, I mean, my goodness, they got to go to Louisville and to Miami back-to-back. I mean, that's going to be tough in itself. Uh, and then, obviously, the Coastal Division does have some decent teams in there as well that um, – for a team like Virginia that hasn't been good in a while, who I don't think has very high expectations this year, not the team that's, uh, that they were back in 2011, uh, it's going to be very tough for them. So then they have to go to North Carolina, a team that I think will make a bowl game, a team that I think will be tough on, uh, with Larry Fedora. He always gets the most out of his team. And I think it's going to be a loss for, uh, for, for Virginia. And then Boston College, a team kind of like Virginia, except they've done a little bit better. They, they make bowl games. Uh, like I said, they usually hover around that 6-7 to seven win mark. They get Boston College at home. This could be that win for Virginia. That could get them to that third win, already improvement from last year. I just don't see it. I'm not calling for it. I feel more confident in Boston College. And I'm going to give them another loss here. And then Pittsburgh, a road game. I got Max Brown at quarterback. Pittsburgh, a team that I do have uh, really not doing as well as the past couple of years, but still doing okay. And it's on the road for Virginia, and I'm another loss there for the Cavaliers. You know, I'm just not, I'm not sold on this Cavalier team. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just not sold on them yet. 13 starters, good quarterback, should be a better defense. Overall, statistically, Virginia will be a better team. Record-wise, maybe not. Georgia Tech at home, a team that I think uh, is going to give Virginia fits, especially if their defense isn't what it's cracked up to be with those eight returning starters. I uh, have to loss there. And then, man, this is going to be so tough for them. Back-to-back games against Louisville and Miami. You do remember, though, last year Virginia gave Louisville quite the scare there towards the end of the season. Only lost by seven points, 32-25. to uh, Really came down to the last second. Um, so they gave Louisville a fight, but that was also at Virginia. Uh, this year they have to travel to Louisville. Uh, that's a very tough environment. We've seen, we saw that last year uh, in some of Louisville's games, uh, at least early on this season. And I don't think Virginia is going to be able to go on the road and defeat Louisville. Uh, and Lamar Jackson. And then at Miami, another tough environment, another tough team, a team I think is going to be great in this Coastal Division this season, and I think that's a loss there. And then Virginia Tech, obviously the classic rivalry game there. Uh, you know, even when teams don't have anything to play for, because at this point Virginia is not going to a bowl game, uh, they always tend to play well against their rivals because you are playing for something. You're playing for that trophy. And I think they're going to give Virginia Tech a, a challenge there for a while. But in the end, I think they will lose to Virginia Tech. And unfortunately for the Cavalier fans, I know this isn't what you wanted to hear. Uh, I'm going to give Virginia to, um, Virginia another 2-10 and 10 record. Before people start commenting and before people begin to disagree, I will say, personally, I do think I will be wrong on this. I think Virginia will win a couple of these games uh, that could be called toss-ups or just games that are at home that they could potentially win. They could potentially win this Duke game. They could potentially win the Boston College game. Virginia will not get to a bowl game this season. I'm I'm very confident on that. What I'm not so confident on is the final 2-10 record. Like I said, they could potentially beat Boston College, and they could potentially beat Duke, and maybe, just maybe, they could go on the road and upset or upset North Carolina or Pittsburgh on the road. So there, there is potential in this Virginia team. And I think Bronco Mendenhall is a good coach, and he will get the most out of this team. I don't see them going to a bowl game. Next year, more than likely, yes. The, next year, though, they're going to have to find themselves a new quarterback because Kurt, Kurt Ben Kurt will be gone since he is a senior. But uh, I have Virginia at 2-10 for now. Maybe as the season go, goes on, my mood will change after I see them play a little bit. But right now, I'm just not so, so too sold on them. And I do see them at the cellar of the ACC Coastal Division. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Keep in mind, I'm not so confident on this Virginia team. Or my Virginia prediction, uh, 2 and 10, I think they probably will end up doing a little bit better than that. But as of right now, I'm going to keep them here at 2 and 10. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we finished the ACC, so we're moving on to the Big 12, Pac-12, or Big 10. So you'll just have to wait and find out which conference uh, we decided to do next. So until next time on the Gridiron Expert.